There we go. If I can get him out. That's a good fish to start the morning, folks. He got hung up around something. I don't know what. Come on in here. Our pretty good white crappie this morning. Right here, and I'm using a slip float this morning because these fish are real scattered. Real scattered. Matter of fact, I've been fishing for about 30 minutes, maybe longer without a bag. Now, I'm looking for the better fish this morning, and that's a pretty good one. Now, I have this float adjusted around 10 feet deep, 9 to 10 feet deep. Just let him go. And I'm fishing in around 13 feet of water right here, so that fish was about two feet from the bottom. And what I have right here, nothing more than a three-old bobber with a two-ground weight bobber stop and a number six Aberdeen eagle claw hook tied with a Palomar knot. And... I'm just using a piece of mono right here for the, the stop. And let's look at this. For those who's never never fished with a rig like this, see that line is gonna go through that bobber, it's hollow, until the knot hits the depth that you desire. And in this case, that's the depth where the fish are. That's it. Now I'm using Tussie Minas. Let's hook one up. Some of them's a lot bigger than this one, but I'm just hooking that mina through both lips. Like that. And I have a distance there around 10, 11 inches. And that's it. That's what I'm going to be doing today. I may change my tactics up if I have to, but I believe that'll work. We'll see if we can catch a few fish like this. Now, my intentions was to fish open water. There's some fish milling around right here in this area. Let me show y'all what's going on right here. What I'm doing. Can y'all see these little shad right here up in the water column, 9.5? And there's some right here on the bottom. A few are showing up. And I'm in 12 feet of water, so what I'm doing right here is trying to keep up with the shad, which the crappie are chasing the shad around. <laughs> There's the fish, folks. Sure is, I come back here to my point. And now I'm using a slip bobber. And these fish, that fish there was around 10 feet deep. Black crappie. That's a pretty good fish right there, too. Now, if you notice, this fish has got a, a big belly full of eggs. Pre-spawn fish. Ain't that pretty? Let's let her go. I'm going to catch some crappie somehow or another today. There we go. And all I'm doing is I'm back here on my point. A lot of fish moving around, but they're scattered. And I've got this slip float adjusted to around 10 feet deep. I put a little bit bigger weight right here. I think this is a, well, this is a 2.5 gram with a bobber stop, size six, Eagle Claw Aberdeen hook. And there's my knot right there. It's just mono. I'd rather have a mono than that tube that supplied because that tube don't come through the eyelets as easy. And I have a video about that, how to tie that particular slip knot. All right, let's catch another one. <clears throat> See what we got right here. Good crappie. Pretty good white crappie. I'm out here in about 12 feet of water right here, folks. Out in 
uh, open water. I found a school of fish right here just milling around. Let, this fish ain't hooked too good, so let's just go ahead and do that right there. Yeah, there's just a school of fish out here just milling around right here in front of this dock. Seen them on the depth finder. That's a pretty good white crappie. All right, swimming bear, there's your another. Look at there, good fish, let's let him go. There he goes. Let's fish right here for some of these open water fish. Now I've, had, I've changed up the way I'm fishing just a little bit. This is just a two gram weight with a bobber stop and about a 10 inch space in between there and that Aberdeen hook size six. So what I'm doing or what I did on that fish was go to the bottom and I just raised it up about a foot and a half and just kind of just trolling around out here. They're not holding on anything as far as structure or cover, excuse me. They're just out here in amongst these shed. All right, there's fish, folks. There we go. Uh-huh. I'm being able to stay right on top of them right here. If the wind was settled down, I could do a lot better, but it's coming around this corner in uh burst come on in here boy that's a fat little fish that's a black crappie so we've caught two white crappie and one black crappie and that's it so far and i'm having to really work for them now that fish right there is full of eggs right here that's a pre spawn crappie um usually I'll have to catch 50 crappie to catch any any size. <laughs> a lot of times doing this, but that's a, about a nine and three quarter inch black crappie. Out here milling around, not on anything, no cover or anything. I'm gonna put my finger right between the hook. Like that, and it don't tear his mouth. Let's let him go. So we got some black crappie and white crappie running around out here. Going back, boy, best part of it. Like I've always said, woo, woo. And I like catching them on these long rods. This is a nine foot two sound sensitive jig pole. Four pound Mr. Crappie. And this is a little Daiwa Real Reverus. 1000 LT 1000 smooth little reel. There's one. Come on out there. Yep, that's a little better one. Or he feels like it. Yep. There's a white crappie. little bit better I suppose I'm back on the jig pole once again let's let him go right here I have caught some big ones on this hole right here I love them old butter beans cornbread pickle pig fate you good come on over here and boy we'll uh, we'll eat them beans boy until we blow up them old beans Good for you. You eat them beans, man. It'll make you like it right there. <laughs> you know, folks, today was one of them old cold Alabama days where the temperature did not rise. If it did, it very little. Uh, beautiful out here, nonetheless. Uh, the I want to go ahead and touch up on the issue about all this influx of rain that we've had, that we're having here in the Tennessee Valley. 
I'm going to tell you what, what's going to happen right here. Um, this is going to be a tremendous spawn this year. Spring is right around the corner. And anytime you see a lot of influx of water, whether it be in the Tennessee River, Weiss Lake, or Negley Henry, you're going to have an exceptional spawn. That's going to happen. But I, I tell you, today the fish were very scattered. I used two techniques to catch them. And um, didn't catch very many. Did not catch the big old slobber head. Did not do it. However, I enjoyed it. And what I enjoy more is y'all being out here with me. Uh, enjoying this cold day. Don't forget, spring is right around the corner. And thank y'all very much for all the great comments. It'll be here. Hey, the darkest part of the night is always before dawn. Woo! Woo! Go! We can win the pants! But dog is good!